we are here with Jack Hanks. Um, my name is Stephanie Pouse. I'm one of the co-founders for Brahma Roofing and Construction, and we are working with local homeowners right in our backyard. We're based in Colorado um, to be able to help them find some relief after the Marshall Fire. So today we're going to be focusing on some frequently asked questions that we're getting and just some really helpful information that we think will be able to assist you guys in navigating what that looks like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let Jack introduce himself and how he plays into this equation. Hi guys, uh, Jack Hanks. I'm a uh, licensed public adjuster in 38 states, including Colorado. Um, I am the CEO and founder of Velocity Public Adjusting. I've been doing uh, insurance restoration and specifically fire claims uh, since 1989. So um, we have a great handle on this and we want to answer all your questions and get you guys the proper help y'all need. So I appreciate being invited on this, uh, on this podcast. We're ready to answer some questions. So let's go. So one big thing that I also want to talk about is the appreciation of our housing market. So Colorado has seen significant appreciation, especially over the last 10 years. And so when we're looking at how much homes and housing prices have increased, how does that tie into this? Because that's something that I think a lot of people are missing is what that looks like when they experience a devastation like this and how that can actually work against them um, or what that looks like for how you can help them through that. So the big scary part of all this is the, the housing market is insane right now. Um, like uh, I know in, I think Denver, Tampa, Scottsdale, a few others, Austin, I think the housing has increased 30% in value over the last year. So the problem, um, these insurance carriers are, are, are getting very devious in their ways. They're, they're having a lot of co-insurance problem where let's say your house burns to the ground, you have 600 grand with the damage, but your house is worth $800,000, right? They're coming back to these clients and say, hey, you guys are underinsured. By two hundred thousand dollars, well, I'm going to invoke the co-insurance penalty, and instead of paying you six hundred, I'm going to take twenty percent off because you guys didn't insure your house long enough. Here's your check for four hundred forty thousand dollars. Yeah. So they're underinsured by three hundred some thousand dollars. So the the biggest problem I, I see on a daily basis is people when they renewed their policies, their agent did not do their due diligence and bump that bump that thing up to eight hundred or eight hundred whatever it needs to be, right? Yeah, based um, on their new value. Because we have people, yeah, well, we, I mean, we have people in these neighbors, I mean, people have been there for a long time. I mean, they've been there since early 2000s. And so yep. if you're looking at early 2000s and you're saying, okay, I've lived in this home for 20 years, I guarantee most of these homeowners have not increased oh. their costs based on what their property has increased on over the last 20 years. Who, I mean, yeah. no one thinks about that unless you work in the space every day. Well, so, so here's, here's what always happens, right? And I, we're all guilty of it. When you go up and buy a new home or you buy a car, you, what do you ask your agent? I want the most inexpensive policy I can get my hands on to get the, we all do it, right? I yeah. mean, it, it's human nature because insurance sucks. Nobody wants to pay the extra yeah. grand a year. And quite and, and the, the, the irony behind that, to go from a $1,800 a year policy to a $1,900 a year policy that increases the benefits uh, tenfold. So it's a very, very good investment that not many people do properly. However, um, a lot of the policies in that area, what I've seen um, through the bigger insurance companies have what's called inflation guard, which means there's a 20, 25% buffer there that if the house is underinsured or does appreciate faster than the policy updates, they do have that inflation guard there. USA has a good clause. American Family has a couple of good clauses in it. Uh, State Farm has a few of those policies as well. So if your house is at valued eight hundred thousand, only insured for six hundred, you do have a little bit of buffer to go get that money right there. So, uh, but is number, that something that would be pointed out to them, or is that something that they need to be able to understand? Well, let's put it this way: if you have a good adjuster and a good agent on your that you that the insurance company provided for you, they should they 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 have a duty to point that out to you, right? Mm -hmm. However. Uh, in 35 years doing this, I can I can tell you about two thirds of the time those things aren't brought up. Okay, it's yep. like anything you're not they're not going to point out stuff that to cost them money because, unfortunately, insurance companies are for profit organizations, mm -hmm. right? They're there to run their business for their. My I, I, I preach this over and over again. Insurance companies are they're not insurance companies anymore. They're marketing firms. Okay, mm -hmm. they're there to bring money in and limit the money they spent, they send out. They're, they're there to answer to their shareholders and, and, and the people involved in making money for their business. Mm -hmm. The policyholders are just the, 
people paying, flipping the bill for it. So if they can get away of paying $350,000 instead of $600,000, business 101 is, what do you do, Stephanie? You pay the 350,000 and you try to run the other way. Which is a harsh both? reality though, right? Like that's a harsh, harsh reality. reality for people that don't that's work crazy. in this space is recognizing that the concept is, hey, there, I have this put in place. I pay my, I pay every month and right. I make sure so that when something happens like this, I'm protected. But even though you might have some level of protection, it's recognizing that that's not all of the protection. And so we're talking about even by, and this is another reason I just want to hone in on why having people who are so experienced in this is so important is because you're talking about what Jack just said, that small little clause can get you a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars that you would have never had, that you would have been footing the bill for. So that's why things like that are also so important. So in, in these policies, also code and ordinance, uh, uh, mm-hmm. enforcement yeah. that most people have. So if the wiring was done in 2000, there's new codes in 2022, that kicks that in. If you have different framing, different insulation, uh, lowy window, lowy glass now for windows is part of a code upgrade. So th- there's there's a million things in those policies that, so what we do, there's a, there's a huge fallacy out there. Um, the policy you have on your phone from State Farm or all state of America, that I, I have Geico for my vehicles. That's not my real policy. That's a sample policy provided to, to the to the consumer, right? Even if you get a state farm, even says sample stamped across the front of it. So the first thing we do, my firm, we order the certified policy from the carrier. And you'd be shocked to see the difference when the policy actually comes. Because keep in mind, one word can change the whole dynamic of that policy. An and or an or, a, or a but in, inserted in a different area can change the dynamic completely and open up a whole wave of coverages that nobody knew they had. So it's very important you, you read the certified policy that you purchased. That is your contract with the insurance company that you paid for and bought. And they mm-hmm. their obligation is to live up to that every stinking word in that policy, right? Mm-hmm. So we have a whole team. I, I have guys in the back, I don't know how they do it. They literally read policy front to back, back to front over and over again to make sure because our job is to find all the nuances of that policy that benefits are insured. And you would be shocked of all the different stuff we can find that they're actually owed and due money to mm-hmm. that most insurance companies don't really want to point out, right? So, I mean, some do, right? There are some very good adjusters. There's some very good insurance companies out there that want to do the right thing. However, like in any field, there's a certain portion or percentage of carriers and insurance adjusters on their side that don't do their due diligence and don't do the right work. That's where we come in. Our job well, is to that's- protect the client. That's the big thing, too, is just recognizing that we're not speaking in definites here, right? Like we're not saying that you're nothing that we're saying is definitive. It's just saying that in our experience, these are things that we've experienced and why we want you to be in the know about them. So I think that that's that's really important as well. Well, there, like I said, there's great. I, I know a lot of adjusters. I know it's like they're friends of mine. They do great work and they actually mm-hmm. take care and they do the right thing. Um, there's horrible PAs, there's horrible roofers, there's horrible yeah. doctors, horrible, horrible, horrible mechanics. You just, it's luck of the draw. And, you know, you get one shot to do this. I would not let my uh, multi hundred or hundreds of thousands of dollars be subject to luck of the draw. Yeah. Well, and that's a big yeah. thing too. So what we're saying is a lot, we've seen a significant appreciation in homes. Yep. And one thing that we've seen in our experience is homeowners are underinsured. And so your coverage, what your home is valued at and what it may even cost to build is not necessarily what you will get. And keep in mind, even because the fire happened in November or December, you're not going to start rebuilding December, that yeah, property. Late December. You're not going to start rebuilding that property until July. Yeah. So you have a whole nother building cycle of pricing going through the roof again and again and again and again. So if you buy something, what's you know, you, you guys go buy a square of shingles today. I guarantee you in July or August, it's going to have a 10 or 50% price increase. Am I right? That's a big thing too for us is, so when you're looking at, you know, any sort of restorations, so you're looking at, Jack has me- mentioned Xactimate, for example, the price lists within Xactimate change month over month. So you're something that you're looking at in December is going to look very different in January versus July. And so that's another reason why having people on your team to be able to monitor what those changes look like are so important because 
Again, if you're not in this every day, how are you supposed to know that? You don't know that. So I think that's a big thing too, is just recognizing that this, this is a very dynamic process. There is no one way is the way to do it. It's very much so it shifts per your policy, who you're working with and what that building process is really going to look like. But I think a big takeaway here is understanding that what your home is valued at is not necessarily what your coverage is going to be. And that's really important and why that's important to be able to work with people is to be able to really look at it and say, okay, put all my cards in front of me. What is my policy stating? What is my coverage going to be so that I can start really planning on what the best decision is for me and my family? And I don't think a lot of people, and it's, it's no, it's no shame to them whatsoever, but I don't think a lot of people have the ability to really look at that analytically and be able to say, yes, I know confidently that this is what my coverage is going to be. Correct. Like, you know, it's, it's, here's the, here's the thing. When you guys, when you go to file your taxes, right? I hire a CPA. Yeah. You know why? Because <laughs> they know all, all the ins and outs and the rules and the guidelines that we need to stay into. And, and anything in the gray area, I want it on my side. And any, any tax benefits I can get, I pay enough taxes. I'm sure you guys do as well. I want to get any, any benefit I can to lower my threshold of tax payment, right? It's the same thing when you have an insurance claim. If you think about the business model of an insurance company, it, it boggles, when you sit down and think about it, it boggles your mind, right? Because it, it's a contract of adhesion, which means you do not get to negotiate the contract. It's presented to you. Here's how much it is. Take it or leave it. You don't mm-hmm. get to take out different clauses. It's, it's take it or leave it. Throw your credit card in there. You get your policy, right? So they control the contract. Two, you have to have insurance. Mm-hmm. When you have a mortgage, you have to have insurance. Yeah. So it's... you. Three, when you have a claim, they tell you, they, they being the insurance company tells you if it's covered and B, if it's covered, they're telling you how much they're going to let you, they're going to, they're the ones telling you how much they're going to pay you. Does mm-hmm. that make any financial sense to you whatsoever? That'd be like me having the, I call the IRS up, say, Hey guys, how much do I owe you this year? They're going to mm-hmm. go, you owe me a lot of money, Mr. Hanks. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's why when I, I have my CPA, yeah. I give him a big folder of stuff and he goes through it and he, he, he limits my exposure. Same thing on the other side. When you have a claim, especially of this magnitude, you want to have people on your side that understand how this works yes. and get every nickel, dime and penny that, that you're owed for the, for the policy that you purchased. I'm, we never, never ask for things that aren't due or just yeah. or that are earned. Our job is to get the claim right, whether it's a dollar, a nickel or a million dollars. Our job is to get the claim right. That's all we're asking the carrier to do, right? Yes, yes. Same thing with your CPA. He, his job is to get your tax return correct. So you can, once again, minimally write that check because we don't want to overspend on taxes. God, no, no. right? Same thing with the carrier. They don't, they, they're, they're telling you what they want to pay you for the claim. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to present the claim with your team of professionals and basically say, here's my estimate. Here's how much it is. Give me my check. Well, it's not even... It's really not even a referee, you know, like the way that we're suggesting is you have a representative, you need someone who is representing your best interests, because I think that's another thing that when we're, we're thinking about these things as homeowners very rarely get a representative for themselves, but insurance companies always have a representative. The insurance adjuster is their representative. They are there to act in the best interest of the insurance company. And so when you're dealing with loss like this, you need to make sure that you are adequately represented so that you can confidently walk away saying, hey, I got what I deserved based off of what our agreement was. And I think that's the big thing is when we're looking at the you know, our whole, our housing appreci- appreciation and what's going on and how you file. It's the biggest question. And the biggest thing we're trying to hone in on is we genuinely, we work in this every single day. We want the people in our community to be adequately represented. That's it. Is we just want to make sure that you have adequate representation because Jack, this is something that we'll touch on again in a little bit. What is the man hours associated with this sort of claim? Um, our research, you're looking at four to 500 man hours. Four to, to 500. All. Yes. Mm-hmm. So keep in mind that includes the additional living expenses. That includes all the contents you have to go through and memorize. How many toothbrushes did you have? How much dental floss? How much makeup did you have? How many, how much spices did you have? Right. Mm-hmm. Then you have to work with your insurance company on the structure portion. How much concrete was damaged? How much this, how much that, how much framing? It's a lot, right? 
Yeah. So people have a life, right? And or they're trying to get back to it. Yes, right? exactly. They have wives, children, it. baseball practice, everything else to get these kids to, right? So a lot of clients strictly hire us to take the burden off of that because it's such a time savings, but it, it, it's, a, it's literally a full-time job for a year to get the claim right and get it done. And no one has, number one, the expertise, nor the patience, nor the time to handle these things properly. So the, 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 the timing on this stuff is, is unheard of. You don't really realize how much work it is to get into it. And yeah. it, it takes a lot. It's a long, drawn out process. And they do that on purpose to wear you down, right? Mm-hmm. They want to wear down the consumer because if they can get away with paying them less and they right. wear them down in six months, people usually cave in and settle for that because they're just so tired of it, tired of it. So once yeah. again, you, you hire a PA or a law firm and our, our job is to take that burden off you and get the, and get the claim correctly, professionally done. That's the idea. So to kind of wrap up as a, a main takeaway from what we talked about with the housing appreciation is one main thing from, you know, our, our Homes in our area have gone up so significantly over the last 10, 15 years. I mean, even for longer than that. So the number one thing that we see in loss like this is that homeowners were underinsured. So if you're underinsured, you are already dealing on an uphill battle of being able to get coverage to get back to where you were. So that's why being able to have that representative, which we talked about, so not a referee, a genuine representative to be able to look at your stuff and be able to say, hey, this is exactly what you're owed and this is how we're going to help you get it is important because that's how you're going to get closest to what that is while keeping in mind that that takes four, five, 600 man hours to be able to achieve. So that's not a simple look at your policy, highlight a few things and be able to submit it. This is an ongoing process. And that's just something that we encourage homeowners to really ask themselves is do you have the bandwidth to be able to take on 600 additional hours of work over the next year in order to get your life back to what it was? Or would you rather bring someone on to be able to help you do that so that you can focus on everything else, like normalcy, purchasing things that you need back in your home, being able to travel again, or even just get to work or whatever it may be. So the biggest thing here is just recognizing what your rights are, what coverage you have, and understanding that you can get close to what that coverage should be, but it's not an automatic. Anyway, hey, thanks for having me on today. It's very important. I, I can't stress enough the importance of getting these fire claims handled properly up front. I've seen many, many families and businesses never recover, and it's sad. Um, you guys have a great opportunity to do it right, get the right people involved. Uh, we're ready to roll. Um, my phone number is 480 766 6565. It's on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have an office up in Westminster we're ready to handle these claims and help you guys. If you want to send me the policy for a free review, my team will be glad to read that thing and give you the nooks and crannies of that thing. No cost whatsoever. It's all about doing the right thing for the community and getting you guys happy and healthy and get you guys moved back home. Yeah. I second everything that Jack said. I think that that's really important just to recognize that, um, you know, especially over here at Brahma Roofing Construction, you guys are right in our backyard. We're up in the Windsor, Fort Collins area. And so for us, it's really focusing on being able to make sure that we do right by our community. And we just want to make sure that we're able to be a really positive educational resource for you. And this is why we've put together this, you know, conversation with Jack to be able to just make sure that we're getting you really real information that you can take away. You have some tangible stuff to walk away with, some really clear next steps. Um, So if you have any questions about this, feel free to give us a call. Um, Brahma Roofing Construction, we'll make sure that we'll be able to get your questions answered for you. Um, Like I said, we're happy to be a resource. So sending you all well wishes. And if you need anything, both Jack and our team are here.